Welcome back to Trojans Live. Trojan fans get one free admission to the Ralph's Ultimate Tailgate Experience at select USC football home games this fall. When you purchase $35 of participating items at Ralph's, look for the signs and tags in store. Every $35 you spend gets you one admission. Well, it's Beat the Bruins Week. I don't know if you know that. You know, there's not just one Beat the Bruins Week. The women's volleyball team has a, the first crack at the Crosstown Rivals this week. USC, UCLA on Wednesday night at Galen Center, uh, 8 p.m., this is always a fun one. We're joined now by Kalia Lanier, one of the stars of that team. Uh, you were indoctrinated into the rivalry last year. Uh, what's it like? Um, it's been super fun, actually. Um, I think our my freshman year, we lost a couple, and that was rough, and I didn't really understand the rivalry. <laughs> but once you win it, um, I think it gets a lot more fun, and you kind of see like where the different attitudes are and the school pride and stuff like that. And it's always like a fun game, but... Definitely a lot of competition involved, too. Okay, so take us down inside in the court. Um, during the game, it's just the UCLA. Is there trash talking, the same oh, type absolutely. of stuff? Oh, absolutely. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> well, how does trash talking <laughs> work in volleyball? You're um, just sort of like uh, at the net, you're whispering? Yeah, stay yeah. down, you know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely down. some whispers at the net. If not, like some stare downs there after a block. Oh, yeah. A big thing at UCLA my sophomore year last year. Um, so I remember Elise Ruddins, my freshman <laughs> year, got blocked, and this girl on UCLA, Claire Felix, like stared her down, and I was like, "Oh, it's on! <laughs> like, let's do this thing." So it's always fun, and in a way, it helps you play better. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's a matchup of ranked teams. You guys have, have gotten off to a good start in the sense that you have some really nice wins. You had a couple of early great wins. It's been a little inconsistent, though. How, how would you, uh, you know, rate the team so far through the first month or whatever it's been? Yeah, we've definitely had some, like, super big wins yep. and then some weird upsets, <laughs> super big losses. Um, but we are definitely a much more talented team this year, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's just all about getting the same cohesive atmosphere and having a cohesive mindset as far as what we want to do and what our goals are and how we're going to get there and stuff like that. So Brent always says the beginnings are messy and he's our new coach this <laughs> year, but um, it's definitely going to be a great season. I'm super excited. And once we can kind of figure out who we are as a team, I think we'll be smooth sailing from there. You know, and that's sort of one of the things that we talk about in football all the time is continuity. And, you know, even in the football team, they have to, you know, once they start getting together and start playing and, you know, the season will just take off. Um, same type of thing in volleyball? Is it one of those things that's a rhythm thing just as much as it is a talent thing? Yeah, absolutely. I was actually talking to my dad about this because I was, like, so frustrated um, with some of the losses that we had. And he was like, you know, it's going to be fine. And once you guys kind of find your stride and you get into that, it'll definitely be a lot better. So I think trying to be patient and not get too frustrated and feel like the world is ending when you do have those losses. But just learning how to be better instead of bitter is my <laughs> Better instead of bitter. I like that. Slogan right now. And you have you do mention uh, you mentioned you have a new head coach this year in Brent Crouch and uh, you know he comes over. How is his personality different? How is his system different than, than what you had previously with McKaylee? Um, completely different. <laughs> um, I think Brent. One of the good things that I think the program needed and has been really successful for us is focusing more on the aspects outside of volleyball, um, as well as just like some really technical skill work things that are always good to improve. But um, yeah, he's been super good about making sure we follow the four agreements and we had to read this book. And so I definitely think that helps with getting on the same mindset. Um, and once you can kind of see that cohesion off the court is when we can kind of get into our stride on the court. And I think that's like the most beautiful thing about our program this year. Well, Wednesday would be a really good time to hit that stride. It's also There's my birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. My Happy oh, we're birthday. Gonna are, you we're 20, gonna win. are you turning 21? <laughs> 20. I'm oh, 20. Yeah, you're Brooke Botkin, who's like a sophomore, is older than me, so <laughs> I'm the joke of the team. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy early birthday, and Thank you. definitely the best way to celebrate is being <laughs> the right. Bruins. That, that much I know for sure. Hey, everyone get in there and rock the house. Volleyball's a momentum sport, too. You can really make life uncomfortable on UCLA <laughs> and get Kalia and her friends going in that one. Trojan fans, the Eckrich Million Dollar Challenge is back. If you want to take the field and throw for $1 million when the Trojans host Notre Dame on November 24, visit EckrichFootball.com for your chance to win. Eckrich, the official smoked sausage and deli meat of the USC Trojans. Thank you, Kalia and Lanier. Good luck to USC women's volleyball against UCLA on Wednesday. We will get JJ's scouting report for Wazoo next. You're listening to Trojans Live.